let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. To the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So what is that saying? Casting down imaginations. Have you ever, when you are doing something or when you are thinking about something else, all of a sudden, all of these negative thoughts begin to come to your mind. And probably some perverse things as well. Things that you don't want to think of, but it is like you try to push it out of your mind, but it continues to stay there. Have this ever happened to you? So we have to know if it is something that you don't want to think of, but it keeps pushing back into your mind, that is telling you that it is demons that are placing those thoughts into your mind. Let's say that you are not trying to think about these things, but when they come to your mind, you entertain them. For instance, perhaps your mom, dad, niece, nephew, so on and so on, done something bad to you and it really hurt you. So when this demonic thought comes to your mind, you begin to contemplate on it and really give in to it. Then it really begins to affect the way that you feel and everything like that. Casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. So what this is saying, even though those demonic thoughts are coming to you, thoughts that are coming from demons, this is saying to cast it down. Even if you are trying to think about things that hurt you, what this is saying is to cast it down. What if you don't cast it down? This is one of many reasons, if you ask me, people have so many psychological issues. It is not so much about what people have done to you. It is how you take it. I pray that makes sense. Let's say that you are on this island and you didn't know anything but the customs on that island. And what if on that island it was a custom for you to... I don't know. <laughs> so many thoughts are coming to my mind. What if you were accustomed to eating ants or something like that? And since it was something that you always done, you know, you don't see it as a big deal. But let's say that you come to another island and over there, they are telling you, hey, did you know that eating ants is wrong? Like, that is nasty. Like, you can get this from it and that from it, blah, blah, blah. Then what is going to happen to you? You may even feel hurt. You may feel like, how come my parents never told me? So you began to contemplate on that issue over and over and over again, getting more and more hurt, developing psychological issues. It is not so much of what happened to you, it is how you take it. Let's say that I am trying to keep this clean. I don't want to say, you know, there is a thing I want to say, but I believe people are going to take it the wrong way. Let me just say it, and I am not trying to offend anyone. I am not trying to be gross or anything like that. Let's say that you are on this island and everyone raping each other was a custom there. You know, you didn't really see it as a big deal because 
it is something that people always have done. And let's say that no matter if you are a woman or man, and let's say that this person goes to an other island. Give me a second, please. So let's say that this person goes to another island. And on this other island, these people are telling you, hey, raping people is so bad. Like, you need to stop doing this because it is wrong. Like, don't ever do it because this is going to happen, so on and so on. Now, what is going to happen is what? Chances are, you know, it may not have a huge impact on you at that time period, but the more people you speak to about it, you are going to begin to get hurt, you are going to feel ashamed, you are going to feel less than, you are going to feel really bad. And the more that you contemplate on it, the worse you are going to feel. And if you are not careful, you are going to fall in depression and be bipolar and all of this other crazy stuff. It is not what happened to you, it is how you take it. Yes, when I was younger, I did get molested, I did get raped, I did get abused, but hey, the past is the past and I am going to move on. But what if you say, hey, you know, those things happened to me and how dare they or how can they do that to a child or, you know, why me and stuff like that. And if you continue to think that way over and over and over again and begin to feel sorry for yourself, I am telling you, things are going to get worse for you. This is why so many people have psychological issues. I am not saying that it is their fault that they get molested or raped or whatever else, but if you are continuing to pity yourself and be angry with people for doing those things to you, it is going to hurt you a lot more than what it should. Being the way that you are is not hurting the people that hurt you. It is hurting you more than anyone else. So if you want that to change, you have to change your behavior. So casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God. So anything that is not of God, cast it out. Like, hey, yes, this happened to me, but I am not going to trip over it or I am not going to take it in the wrong way. I am just going to move on. The past is the past. So what? Throw it out of your mind. Replace that thought with something else. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So what you are going to do is take out the things that go against God and bring in things that don't go against the rules and regulations of God. So the reason why that you are suffering, not because of what happened to you, it is how you are taking it. The way you take it is going to determine how you feel right now. Because I can tell you many things that happened to me and you would be really shocked. Like, hey, like, how can you be the way that you are when those things happened to you? I had to move on. Yes, I could continue or get back to hating this person and that person and this person, my parents, blah, blah, blah. But what good is that going to do for me? Yes, it hurt. But hey, in this life, everyone is going to get hurt some way, somehow and you are going to continue to get hurt until you die. That is just the way that things are. So if you believe that you should never get hurt in life, that is crazy to think that way. You think that you are going to live this whole life 
and no one is going to hurt you. How crazy is that? Seriously, you believe that if you get married or whatever else, you are going to be happy the whole time. That is insane to think that way. So when you are, so when you do get hurt or when you are not happy, you know, you start thinking so badly and make your condition worse. I pray that this makes sense, my Lord. So when things that go against the word of God, so if you are thinking, hey, I hate this person and I wish that this person was dead or I can't wait until they die or I hope somebody rapes that person or I want to kill this person or anything that goes against the word of God, the Bible, if you are thinking about these things, this is saying, take it out of your mind. So what happens when you disobey the Bible? You are going to get cursed. So you thinking about your issues, pitying yourself, saying or hating people and stuff like that, this is why your condition is getting worse. How can somebody do that to me? And all these years, you keep repeating that self. You keep repeating that stuff to you over and over again, making things worse for yourself. You, you have to forgive. If you don't forgive, how is God going to forgive you? When you choose to disobey God, curses are going to come. So contemplating on negative things is not doing you any good. This is why I don't. Now, there is a thing that happened to me today, which was very, very shocking. I never thought that person would do that to me. But hey, I have to move on. I can't think about it. And believe me, demons were trying to like shove that thought continually in my mind trying to make me angry but I'm like no there is no point to get angry about it because hey I am not going to dwell on negative things that happens to me from other people hey that person did what they did to me so what back when I was in sin I did many bad things to people so how can I be like so upset with that person when I did similar things to other people as well. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.